I went to the police officer and police officer was in the chair with the red eye, with the angry face. He asked me, what's your name? I, t I told him, my name is Santos. So what's your father name? This and that. Mother name, this and that. So where do you live? I live in there. So lastly, he told me, if we release you, will you join to the international again? Then I simply I replied, no, sir, I have never joined this kind of group. I'm still innocent and I will never join. So he told me, if you see any international group like that, will you inform us? Then I told him, yeah, I will inform you. Then he told me that now, today onwards, you are released from the jail. So, you know, at that moment, a sound came from my mouth. And that was, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I cried a lot. I cried over, right over there. And I, I, I turned back to my friends, saying bye-bye to my friends. And I told them, my dear friends, that is the book you also need to read. This is the, the God over there in that book is the real God. He released me today. Like a madman, they dropped me into the city. All the people in the city, they were looking at me. I'm not fully aware that I am released now. So I'm thinking I'm dreaming somewhere because we used to dream like that sometime in a jail. I, I, I went side of the road and kicked to the stone. I feel pain. I, I thought I am, it is real in life. So what I decide is, I did not decide to go to my parents. I did not decide to go to my friends and all. So I thought I will go to my brother and with his help, I will find out the temple of Jesus Christ, not the church. I don't know where Jesus Christ lives. So he took, he took me to the border, Indian, India border, because there was one church. Inside the Bhutan, there is no church at all. So I went to the border and there is a, in, in the church, there is a pastor. He was the pastor, but I don't know what pastor I mean. So I went there and uh, I asked, are you the Pandit? Are you the uh, priest of uh, this church? He told me, no, I am the pastor in this church. Then I, 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 I share him this, these things has happened in my life. And I read the uh, book and uh, I found a Jesus Christ there and I promised this and that. I, I share all the story to him. He, he know all of my information. So he told me, brother, do you know one thing? When you were put in a jail, your parents had survived a lot. They went to the temple, they went to the different goddess, they, they worshipped the idols, they worshipped the river and all. They spent a lot of money just seeking a help to goddess, from goddess to make you release from the jail. But finally, they could not do anything. So one day, one of our evangelists met your parents on the way and he shared about the Jesus Christ and they, all of your family came to our church and I also preached them and finally they, they accepted Jesus Christ over this church and they shared the prayer request about you that you are in a prison. So that day onwards, we whole church were praying for you, brother. So this is, the, this is what the result that today you are in front of me. And pastor also started crying and I also started crying and that was a very powerful moment of Holy Spirit. I, feel today. So that way uh, I accepted Jesus Christ and God has given me uh, the next life. The, the life that I had was completed inside the jail but the life that I am right now is the gift of the God. So I promise God that I will use my life for your kingdom. Actually this whole world is like a prison and whole people are in the prison. They are bandaged with the sin and darkness is over here. But still there is God to release them from this prison. The life in this prison will be end one day, but the life in the kingdom of God will never end. So God wants to release, take out people from that prison to his kingdom. So this is the opportunity for each and everyone in this world. Please, please release yourself from the prison, from the worldly prison and give your life for the kingdom of God. And he is always there to release you, bring you, to redeem you from the darkness to the light. And if this is me. I was also put on in a prison and lived in the darkness, but I'm in a light. So the same light is for you still. So come to the light.
thank you for uh, listening my testimony jesus is still alive and alive for me and for you also so be blessed and pray for me and my church thank you very much my name is santosh ramda and jesus is my savior